I think that's a brilliant, uh, uh, you know, observation. And that is what, you know, uh, President Kalam had said that uh, FAIL is an acronym for the first attempt in learning. You've got to continue how to learn. Now, but he has a problem perhaps with the fear of failure and baggage. You don't have that problem. But you could have the problem of inexperience. Because experience has a huge cost attached to it. The cost of learning, which could be very prohibitive, which could actually run you out of business. Do you ever fear that? The possibility of having the cost of experience being just too high. Any new business that is being set up, right, is always on a tightrope, right? Uh, you have limited resources, you have limited time, and you have limited, uh, you know, runway. And now, if you are going to, you know, not act fast, then you are definitely doomed. Because you need to keep reacting, you need to keep optimizing, you need to keep, you know, uh, le keep learning as fast as you can. And I think that is a, I think that is a fear that I would sleep every day in the night with saying that, hey, you know what, how can I learn more tomorrow? If I want to learn more tomorrow, then what are the things that I need to do extra tomorrow so that I can learn faster, right? Uh, what is the team that I need to build that can bring in that experience that I don't have or my you know, other co-founder does not have, can we kind of start plugging those in experiences, right, with the right experience? And that experience can come either self-experience where we kind of keep learning or getting the right people on board. So yes, uh, inexperience or not knowing, uh, you know, not seeing an entire business cycle sometimes is something that, you know, uh, is, is a reality. But if you look at the history of legacies, Family organizations rarely run beyond generation four. Three or four and they just dissolve. And the reason for that perhaps, and I'm hazarding a guess out here, is that a family business involves decisions beyond commercial sense. Frankly, have you faced this? I think what the success lies behind is that you need to very clearly differentiate between ownership and management. So how do you differentiate between the ownership and management is something, you know, uh, 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 if you are able to adapt, then there are a lot of advantages of having the right, right mix of professionalism along with the ownership or the family ownership. Many times the risks which maybe a owner can take, the professional might not be able to take. And hence, that the right balance of the professional and the ownership sometimes can, I would say, you know, the, grow the business much faster and help the business grow. ABP News. Aapko rakhe aage.